Hi there. In this video, I will talk about how you can align two different series or data frames. So to do that, first of all, let's import the libraries, which is pandas spd. We will import numpy library as well because we need to some operations as well as from pandas. We will import series and data frame. So let's go ahead and execute that and the libraries have been imported. After that, we will create two different series. So let's create series one as series and within that, let's specify some observation, simple one, zero, one, two, three, four, five. So these are like six observations and let's give an index also as a b c let's say next one is e and f so this is one two three four five and one more g all right and let's print it so here is our series zero one two three four five and related to that the index values are here a b c e f g so let's go ahead and create another one i'll just copy this so that i don't have to write it again most of the pieces so let's start maybe to see this thing in action let's start three four five and maybe six and seven and eight All right so let's give it a name as a b and let's say d Let's say uh, F, let's say H and I, just to do the experiment and change the name of the series to 2. All right, let's go ahead and execute this. So here we have our two different series. First series is straightforward 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, A, B, C, D is missing and D we have uh got over here in series two so first thing is what happens if we had these series so ser1 plus ser2 let's execute this and if you see that wherever it has identified the first series value a b into the second series and similarly in second series we did not have c so if any of the value is missing it has indicated that not a number right so whenever you are whenever you are you know playing with your data frame doing some data analysis and you are getting some weird result when you are trying to add the c two different series or trying to perform some operations i think you need to go back to basics and see uh, why it is so maybe the reason about their internal structure or maybe specifying or using the right function to do that and we'll see in a couple of uh, minutes that how we can correct this behavior but idea is to show you what happens when we do that generally our thinking is if you are coming from the sql or excel background you know that there should be a b and c should come as it is like two and for d it should be five and so on and so forth and uh, but that's not what is happening here so it's an important to get an idea what is what really happens when you add two different series after this uh, let's try to see or perform the similar sort of operation on a data frame as well so df1 maybe and specify data frame and here let's use np dot range and uh, and four values that means zero one two three four and let's uh, arrange it in a two by two matrix so reshape two comma two that means two rows and two columns and let's give two dummy names columns and let's specify within the list a b so this way first column will get the value a and another column will get a value b all right once you do that then you can specify the index and let's give the index as prod1 and prod2 just so that there is a clear differentiation between the characters the 
the columns and the rows. All right, let's go ahead and print this. And here we have A, B, product one, product two. Let's create a different data frame and paste it over here. And then go ahead, change the name first of all to two. And uh, let's create maybe nine and now three comma three metric and maybe in this case um, a d and c and prod one uh let's say prod three and prod five all right so here you have a d c a and b prod 1, prod 2, prod 1, 3 and 5 so that you know we can see all of this operation when we are adding it to different data frames how the result is coming and uh, if you are thinking about uh, how we got the last results and similar weight will get, uh, give it here then you are right df1 plus df2 and let's go ahead and execute this and as you must have expected that's how the results are coming for you. So only prod 1, which is common in both the cases, for column A, you are getting the output and for the rest of the values, it has become NAN. Now what happens is, when we get a result like this and there are a lot of null values, uh, we always want to remove that or at least we try to get default values. So for example, uh, what happens uh, if let's say we want to get the all the values which are over here so that they are not getting impacted when you are adding it and finally giving you the null value so what you can do is you can use the function which is uh, tf1 dot add to add it properly and what you want to add is df2 and you want to fill underscore value with zero so what i will suggest is Take a pause or pause this video and uh, try to see what should be the output. So what is happening over here is we are saying add df2 fill value is equals to 0. So think about this, read little bit of documentation by pressing shift tab tab and it will give you the documentation of uh, what happens when you add it and the columns and other things and down there it has the parameters and try to get the output before running this command so I hope uh, you must have gone through with this and uh, try to figure it out but if not let's go ahead and see this shift enter and now you are getting the value of 0 for the B you are getting 1 2 and 1 for both C and D Prod 2 since it is not available you are getting 2 and 3 from the first metric for prod 3 again b is not available so you are getting 3 5 and 4 and for product 5 we are getting the value 6 8 and 7 so everywhere the value is coming and wherever you know it could not identify the products or the the column it has given the value 0 so that there should not be any issue when you are adding the two numbers or two data frames after this let's try to see what happens if we try to add or subtract a series uh, into a data frame so here we have the second data frame which has the value adc as the columns and these are the row one or the index zero one and two and try to get let's say we try to get the index two value over here and create a series based on that so for that let's take a series third and uh, df2 dot ix and one and series 3 so here is the value a d and c 3 4 and 5 for product 3 3 5 and 4 so for d is 4 so that's why d is 4 and c is 5 so what if if we try to let's say subtract it from this so what we are doing is we need to set it over 2 to see this show this operation and press enter so as you might have suspected 
based on that uh, the second row that we took it has subtracted the values from the second row and given you the output 0 0 0 so that's about how you can do the data alignment and see this thing in action and this is something sometimes very helpful when you are not getting the results as expected when you are doing such sort of an alignment by doing addition or subtraction so you can always come to these basics and see the things in a small perspective or with a small data set to see what is really going on in the in the back end of the calculation and whether this is making the or coming as per the expectation which you need from a larger data frame so that's about it and i will meet you in the new video the new topic